We're in the end zone now. This is where you get the chance to convert your footage into something that can be truly stunning. You've learned how to think about your flying in such a way that you can maximize your chance of getting outstanding footage. You've used that thinking to plan your flights and then execute them so that you've got footage with lots and lots of video dramatics in the can, ready to be turned into something amazing through your editing. I have two things to talk to you about now. I want to talk to you about the key design principles and guidelines you should have in mind all the time whilst you are editing your footage. I also want to run through the software how-tos for you to do that editing. Briefly, what I'm going to cover for the software how-tos is a generic workflow common to most editing software. That is, a series of steps to go from raw footage, selection from that raw footage, sequencing it together, adding the right effects, putting the final touches on it before you release your masterpiece to the world. I'm going to demonstrate all of this with a worked example in software. Additionally, I'm going to give you some of my raw footage for you to be able to follow along with some of the techniques and things that we'll be going through. Whilst you're working in the software, I want you to have some design principles in mind that you use to guide you on every single step you make while doing your editing. Where have these design principles come from? Well, I've done extensive review and analysis of my own videos and other people's videos, looking at things such as YouTube analytics on audience retention. When do people stay hooked to your video? and When do they have enough and move on? Also looking at video comments that people leave all over YouTube and discussing this on web forums and face-to-face -face with other people that spend a lot of time producing aerial productions. These design principles have one overarching focus. That is, everything that you produce should be designed to entertain through every minute and second of your production. Breaking this down, every clip should be persuading the person to stay to the end of that clip. Once they've reached at the end, you're persuading them to watch every other clip that you include in your production. And once they've completed that video, you're persuading them to come back and look for more. With that being your intent, you're looking for a perfect synthesis between three elements. The flying footage and ground footage that you've collected, the music that underpins your video, and the editing techniques you use to bring all of these together. Bear that in mind for all of these design principles. You can decide to follow these principles or not, but you should always be following this overarching focus of making sure that you are aiming to entertain your audience for every second that they watch. For these design principles, I'm going to cover the following areas. We're going to talk about what is the right duration for your overall video? What content works best to entertain the audience? And we should have a pretty good founding already for being able to decide that particular point. What should not end up in your production? What should stay on the cutting room floor? What are the do's and don'ts of annotating your footage? That is, giving information about where you flew, what the music is, what kit that you use to actually create your video. What's the best way for selecting the music? What works and what doesn't? And then finally, what are the editing principles that we should be following? Such things as, where should the clips be located? How do we sequence them together effectively? What's the right kind of use of effects that we should be covering? Remember, these are just principles. All these rules are designed to be broken, but not the one about aiming to entertain our audience for every second that we produce.